went to another video and bought myself a drone. So this, as well as being an unboxing type of thing, because I've already unboxed it, it's the battery charged, blah 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 blah, to see, to show you what comes with the Mini 3 in the box, and what I bought additionally, why I bought additionally, what I didn't get, and why I didn't get it, the options that I did and didn't get, <coughs> basically. I bought the Mini 3, as you will probably aware by now. Um, what I did do is, one thing I would suggest you get you do, because when you buy the Mini 3 in the box, it comes with that, everyone knows, it comes with a flimsy um, material bag, and when you're spending 600 or 400 or over a thousand pounds on a drone, why would you carry it around in a flimsy bag? So the first thing I did when I got when I got it off Amazon, this one, I got a hard case. I got that because I protect what I own, and it will come if I ever sell it. It'll come with that because it's the foam inside is cut for the Mini Three and Mini Three Pro because it has like a gimbal camera so it has the cutout points for all that. It only fits that camera so I'd have to get rid of it for that reason anyway. Here is the Mini 3. It is 249 grams. Now I have a license. I got on by mistake. I was that was in a practice test and they said well done you've got your license. But you only need the license if you get if it's over 249 grams. Um, but and the batteries that come with this are, I actually tell you, it's 249 grams. I did get the Flymo combo because if you buy just the drone itself, you don't get um, and you, you don't get any extra propellers, any extra batteries. You get one battery, one controller, charger, and the drone, and that's it. So you basically can't, you can fly it for what half an hour or so, and then you that it. When you're flying, half half an hour goes so quickly. And you might just be getting the hang of it and it says battery low. You, you, you know what I mean? So you need more more than one battery, especially if you want to go out you out for half an hour and you come back and like, whatever. So this is it. You take the cap off here. What I do though on this cap is it comes with a little a little foam insert to protect on travelling the camera. I've kept that in there. I'm always gonna keep it on there because it stops the uh, the gimbal moving in transportation and it comes with this different uh, lens cover that you just pop on like that. Apparently um, these vents here are now actually a viable a, a working option before the only rub on the cheaper ones it's just a blank. This actually lets air in. You, you take the battery out by just pe 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 pressing these pins in the side and then it should go it should then just fly it comes out like that. That's all it is in there. It's simple, it's uh, and then you just slide it back in like that. It is not waterproof, unless you want to go for a more and more, more expensive one, then it's not waterproof. So if so check the weather, fly when it's not waterproof, when it's when it's not raining. If it's windy that's fine, but if it rains, you need to bring it in. It might the odd splash I don't think will affect it. You can see on the front, it does have a gimbal. This is one of the main reasons I got this over the two, because the two doesn't have a gimbal that's like that. And the good thing about this, apparently, because it has the it has the gap there, means you can go further up when you when you when you're flying, and further down when you're flying as well, like the camera. And the reason I got this as well is because everyone's in Instagram now or TikTok. You want to record videos for TikTok or Instagram. This. On, on the actual controller itself, you can actually turn the gimbal portrait mode as a po and then switch it back to the landscape mode whilst you're in the air via your mobile phone, which is attached to it. I also bought this one because the videos I saw online show that it is it is much there's more light in than the two in the when it's in the um, in the evening, which means you won't get a pitch black. Um, video two and the two SE are only go up to 2.7k. This one goes up to 4k. I think it's at 30 frames, but it could be 60. I think no, I think it's 30 frames for 4k, 60 frames at 2. Um, 2.7k, and the same at 1080p. 
So that's another good thing, you get a better video quality. You can get a better quality camera, better battery life, because on the Mini 2, the battery life is about 31 minutes per battery. On the Mini 3, this one, it's 38 minutes battery life per battery. For Lamo Combo, you get three batteries, so an extra two. Um, the only issue I found with these batteries as well is they take over about an hour and a half each to charge up which is rather annoying to be fair because I want they could have at least ch charge them up pre-sale because when you buy a drone you want to you want to get it you're excited to get it and then you just want to get out and fly it but you can't because the batteries are not charged but what it does good though is is that the charger does figure out which one has the most charge in it and charges that one first so it doesn't charge the old the, the flatties first charges the, the less flat one first so you could technically charge that one pull it out put it in film more while the other two are charging there are two options with the mini three and up you can get the normal uh, remote control or you can get the upgraded one with its own screen which the screen is around here um, now that screen is 200 pounds or whatever it might be in euros or dollars or yen or whatever um, 200 pound more expensive plus you have to buy if you want to be card onto the onto it you have to get an, another SD card so it's two SD cards Sure they, they, it takes a while to turn the, the actual um, the display on so in that time you might be going oh my god that looks amazing D -d 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 -d. oh missed it because it's taken so long for the, for the screen to come on so to me I would rather save like 200 quid plus 30 quid for the SD card put your phone, mobile phone onto the top of it your mobile phone's already on you put the DJI app on it plug it in which the, which obviously this charges your phone while you use it while it's connected to it you can record onto your phone as well do a bit of flying because why not and then uh, I'll come back to you once the battery's charged and we'll uh, go from there second just to show you the quality of what it is um, and there's other things that are, I found that are better than the, the Mini 2 that this Mini 3 has I don't really think the Mini 3 Pro is worth the extra few hundred quid or even getting um, getting the upgraded version of this uh, this this one because it's perfectly fine for me it did the job I was able to um, fly the drone with it and to be honest I could see the screen on my, on my phone just as well I don't know if there's something I have to do in the settings to make it that so it charges my phone while I use it because it didn't charge my phone while I used it so I need to have a look at the settings how to do that um, 
I'm leaving the joysticks on. You can put them in the bottom there, in these black bits. Do you get a, a different kind of charger with this? You can charge it on the actual um, drone itself, um, but it's better to charge it because, like I said, um, if there's all three in there, and that one's got more charging already, it'll start charging that one first, and it'll charge whichever one's the one. So it has a, it's like an intelligent charge it charging system. You do get um, extra um, propellers with uh, with the screws as well. Set the new screws for them. Three different cables for your um, for your controller whether it's iPhone and or Android or whatever. I got this case as I showed you before because you can put it in there um, and when you're paying 600 and odd pounds upwards to me I wouldn't trust those flimsy bags that they provide you with that they come in because you're going to be knocking it around you throw it on the floor it's going to get damaged. I'd rather put it in in this case it's, it's, it's uh, perfectly well it does the job and you know that your stuff's going to be safe and if you're out and about and it does start raining it's going to be protected. For the price, if you can afford to go to a Mini 3 rather than Mini 2, go for it. For the 4K option, for the, um, the avoidance, for the longer battery life. Also I found out when I, was, when I was flying that the lights that you get on here, they light up when the battery is low. I wish it was cheaper, I'll be honest. I don't really like spending loads of money, but considering what you can do with it, 4K footage, fly for a while. I need more open space to fly, really. I'm going to try that with that. Um, I'm going to try and do a video showing my new car um, about it and use the drone to get some footage of it out of some circle, but try and go around the car with it. And go and go out and then come back in and have a look at it, see what it's like, see if the footage any good. I imagine it is. It does travel apparently um, 10 meters a second if you go full on, which is bloody good. 10 meters a second, that's fast. You can get the more expensive, um, better batteries, but then you would need a license because it would make the it would get the um, the weight of the drone over 249 grams. And past that, you need a license. So, what are the three reasons to get this Mini 3 over the Mini 2? Mini 2 doesn't have 4K, doesn't have a gimbal, so it can't go up too high. It has less battery life on the batteries, hence battery life. For 31 over 38 for the 3. Um, you can't get, if you want the, the control pad with the screen built in, which you don't really need, um, then the Mini 3 is the option. You can't get there with the Mini 2. Oh, also, DJI try and get you an option to get an SD Mini SD card for 40 odd pounds. I went on Amazon and got it for. 26 pounds so you can save yourself almost 50% off the two the three pro has follow me mode the three and the two and the two se don't have follow me mode apparently you can track you if you're walking a little bit track you very slowly but you don't have so you can't but if you run or you ride your bicycle or whatever it will not be able to follow you so that's one thing you need to think about so anyway, thanks again for watching. Sorry if I'm waffled on. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and thumbs up and comments down below. Um